Hey everyone, welcome back to the very long-awaited, requested makeup collection video. I'm so excited to share this with you. I know I've been promising this for months, but so many things always get in the way or things just like, it just doesn't happen. So today I thought I would share with you my makeup collection, things I've been collecting. I've been collecting makeup for well, about two, well, I've always had makeup, but not like to this extent. Um, since I started my channel, um, it's obviously grown because I buy things to do reviews for you guys and I buy things for myself. And sometimes companies send me things, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, and so I have collected quite a bit and I thought I would share with you my collection and how I organize it. Um, it's not perfect. It is, it's organized how I use it and what's comfortable for me. Um, keep in mind we're military so we move around a lot so things get shifted and, and sometimes it may not be organized how I want but I know I'm going to be moving in six months so I, I sometimes like to just wait till the next location. So I think what I'm going to do is I haven't done a collection video on my channel yet in this home and I won't be living here forever so I thought I would do an updated version, um, I'm not going to tell you when because it's a surprise, but I thought I would do an updated version down the road here and so yeah if you guys are brand new and just stopping by I hope you subscribe, please subscribe and stay a while we have lots of fun here and thumbs this video up it helps me out so much if you enjoyed this and you want me to maybe do like an annual collection, like update like what went, what stayed kind of thing or whatever. Um, so we're going to get into the collection. And so I hope you guys enjoy and I love you so much. So thanks for watching. So first we're going to start here with my desktop. So this is where I sit to do my makeup in my room. My old vanity is now my husband's new vanity, which we'll show you later, but for now, this is what I look at. That is a TV that used to be in my bedroom, but now that's my new monitor, so when I'm doing tutorials and stuff, I can see if I'm in focus or not. So when you see me looking to my left, that's where I'm looking. Um, and then I just have that cute little mirror. I got this from Pier 1 a couple summers ago, and it's just really cute. It doesn't light up. It's not a fancy mirror or anything, but I think it's cute. Um, and then I can Kate Margolan meteorites because this is essentially the last thing I do before spraying my face with any sort of setting spray. I use the Garlon meteorites and they're just adorable and so I leave them on display. Then we have my brushes. So they used to be organized according to function. I used to have like powder and foundation in one and then blush and bronzer, highlighter, eyes, that kind of thing. <laughs> and then, I couldn't keep up with it. So this is just a candle holder. Well, it used to be a candle from Bath and Body Works and I just burned it down, put it in the freezer, popped out the wax, and now I just use it because it matches my room. And I have all kinds of brushes in here from Sigma, Real Techniques, Morphe, a couple Morphe's, Elf, Zoeva. This one's a Sony Keshek brush, blush brush, which I've really been enjoying. And this is a Bedellum Tools, the one I just have, and I bought it because it was pink. That's all. Um, and then I keep all of my eye brushes in this. This container right here actually was part of, um, it held roses on my wedding reception table. So I had these on every single table with fresh roses in them and I decided to keep one because it works perfect to put all of my brushes in. And this, these are just beads you can buy at a craft store and I put them in there so that, well, first of all, this is too deep. Um, and that way they can all stand up straight so I can just pull it over and just kind of look in to see what is what. And I keep my, you know, fashionable hair clip right here <laughs> to keep my hair back. Um, okay, and then let's move over here, the rest of my brushes. Now, this is not my ideal setup, but it's the only space I have in this room to put things the way they are. The rest of this room is really tiny. I might give you a glimpse, but it's it's a really tiny room and I have a lot of things going on here. So my brushes aren't necessarily how I'd like them to be. I think I'd like to get, I don't know, something to actually sort them better. But these are just, once again, the Bath and Body Works candle holders that I, um, you know, burned up the candles and put them in and I just, I recently washed all my brushes, but no, they're starting to get dirty again. And then this was a gift to me from my friend and it has my initial on it, so, and it works perfect to hold brushes, especially these taller, longer handled ones, because this is a little bit bigger container. So, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but this is what my top of my desk looks like. Then we come to this. So, up here is where I keep all of my lip 
pencils. I have an obsession, if you can't tell. Um, and then these are all my NARS lipsticks. I decided since I have almost, I recently bought this, so now of course I screwed it up, and now I have to get another lipstick holder to hold my NARS lipsticks, but it just, I don't know, it's just a cute little holder, and it's, yeah, it's not, it's a little bit tiered, so you can see them, which is nice. Then I keep my Kabuki brushes here. These are the ones I use to, um, put my Guerlain Meteorites on my face. In is, um, why can't I talk today? Of course, of all days where I need to explain to you a hundred things. I cannot speak. Elf, and then this one I think came in a boxy charm. Then, these are Muji drawers. These are two five shallow drawers from Muji, and I stacked them on top of each other for space safe. Um, that's for a brush cleaner. I literally never use it. I debated throwing it away, but I thought I'd at least show you that I own it. <laughs> I literally never use it. I should probably just toss it. Um, so these are, like I said, two five drawers. So up here I have a lot of my MAC lipsticks, and um, they almost all fit, but it's really nice to sort things so that you can see them and you can pull them out. So if you wanted to, you know, do someone's makeup or whatever, bring it downstairs or wherever you want to do, you can pull these out, which is a nice function. Then in here I kind of have like my lip lacquers. So anything that's kind of like lipstick, gloss, hybrid kind of thing. So these are all my lip lacquers. These are Mally, some of the first ones I ever bought. These are awesome from Rimmel, the show-offs. Um, these are, are Smashbox lip lacquers. They're like a stain, gloss, lipstick in one. They're really nice. The Marc Jacobs, actually, I actually really like this one. This is Moon Glow. One of my all-time, all-time favorites from Estee Lauder is the Pure Color Envy in the shade Vinyl Rose. This is stunning. Um, these are the MAC Pro Longwear lip glasses. I'm not sure if they make that shade anymore. These are some Mary Kay lipsticks, which I actually really like these shades. This one's called Really Red, and red, two of my favorite reds ever. No idea what that is. This I should probably toss. It's an OCC lip tar. It's ancient. <laughs> and so anything that's kind of like lip lacquery with the exception of that lipstick because it didn't fit anywhere else goes in there. And here I have like all of my chubby sticks from Revlon, um, Neutrogena, Laura Geller, Clinique, Buxom, that came in a boxy charm. And then these are all of Tarts. These are nice. Tarts, lip stain, chubby stick things. P.S. I didn't even think about it, but my nails are a hot mess. I had to... <laughs> I painted them last night, but I just noticed that they're chipping and gross, but <sighs> they're still recovering from acrylic nails. Don't do it, girls. They look pretty, but man, just take it in. Take it in. This is so sexy. I mean, if you want your nails to look like this, go get acrylics. Okay, next, this is all like lip pencils in pencil form. So Smashbox, Lorac Pro. Um, Laura Geller, Nude Sticks, these are my NARS pencils, all of my Bite things, these are those little ones you can get at Christmas time, which are so cute and a great way to try a bunch of shades. And then I have a couple, like, full-size ones, and then this, these littler ones also came in the kit. These are, um, lip brushes, which I clearly never use. Lip, limp, blah, 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 blah. lip pencil sharpeners. This is a lip tint from Lush. It's really, really pretty in the summer. It's like this bronzy color and it smells like coffee. And these are from Alani. I love these. I need to use these more. These are lip flashes. They're, they have like shimmer in them. So if you hate shimmer, don't buy these. I don't think they make these anymore actually, but when I first discovered Milani, those are the first thing I bought from them. Next, we have all my minis. Oh, I gotta sit down. My back is already hurting. Um. These are all like my minis, like things you get as 100 point perks, free gifts with purchase, anything that's like a little tiny mini. And so this is my mini drawer and I think it's so cute. Some of my favorite shades ever are in here. Givenchy, this lipstick, you can buy it in the full size. It's 202 Rose Dressing. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, does that not scream spring and summer? Oh, I love it. Um, and then what else we got in here? Just, you know, Buxom, Bite. This is this is Buxom's new matte formulation that I really like. This is called Sinful Cinnamon. Makeup Forever, Laura Mercier's lip glosses. These are gorgeous. Bite, Bare Minerals, Butter London. Remember this brand when this came out on YouTube and I bought this shade? 
it's still around. I just never hear anyone talk about it. This one's called Anne Margaret. It's a beautiful um, peachy coral lip gloss, and they're they're really sticky, but they're super opaque. I'm trying to put this cap on with one hand. This is not working. Not a pro here, guys. Definitely not. Um, this just came in that Sephora nudes kit. To Laura Mercier. So, anyways, those are all my minis, and they fit so perfectly in there. So I thought, oops, it needed a dedicated drawer. Okay, get in focus. Okay. Now we have some of my most used or new to me lip glosses. And so I decided to put like ones I reach for the most up on my vanity. Because you know when you're sitting down, it's easier just to grab there than go digging for something. So these are Jouer Sigma Lip Tint Gloss. Or no, wait, what's it called? Tint Lip Gloss. That's a beautiful color. These are my MAC lip glosses. I let's see. One's Love Nectar and one's Purr. Stunning. Um, this is Makeup Forever. I literally have only used this once. I need to use that again. I've been using this one a lot lately. This is the Surratt lip gloss in the shade Coquette. It's like a pinky shade. It's gorgeous. My Chanel Glossomers, whom I adore. NARS Tiber. I bought this, what, this fall, this winter? Oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous shade. Um, this is from my sweet friend Amy. It's a YSL gloss. Um, this is the Dior lip it's like a gloss lipstick thing it's really pretty and then this is the shade sweet beige from chanel so i just kind of keep everything i use the most within reach because it just makes sense to me and then the last four drawers are my drugstore lipsticks so in this drawer we have milani um these are joe fresh yes from canada um jordana which I actually recently wore one of these because I couldn't remember what the formula is like, and they're nice. Um, Elizabeth Arden, NYX, this shade's Flutter Kiss. It's gorgeous. This, I haven't worn yet. Oh, that's going to drop. Oh, my lord. This is the most chaotic collection video you've ever watched, I'm sure. Did you expect anything else? Uh, <laughs> who wants to be a professional anyways? Um, this is the NYX um, Butter Lipstick. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. I bought this for spring and summer. What's it called? Hot Tamale. I'd say so. Uh, that's not for the faint of heart. And so, yeah, so basically I try to organize all of my lipsticks by brand. So if they fit and if they don't fit, I get rid of one that I don't wear. That's my secret to make them all fit. This is my drawer of Revlon and one random, why is this in here? Maybelline lipstick. Um, so these are all my Revlon lipsticks and the lip butters. Really like those. The regular lip formula. This is, they don't make these anymore. I remember when I bought this, I looked up on Pinterest a nude lip combo and this is what they told me on Pinterest and so I went and bought it. Number 70 Soft Nude by Revlon. I liked this packaging so much better than this. Like, why do they ever get rid of this? This looks way more chic. Um, and then this is Maybelline's, what is this? Siren in Scarlet. It's matte. It's like a super bright red shade. Now we have L'Oreal, which is not my favorite lipstick, but I have um, this one because it's like a stunning shade. What's it called? Ferris Nude. Focus camera. This is my new camera, by the way. I probably should have said that in the beginning of the video. Um, so my different random L'Oreal lipsticks, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild. These are so good for what, a dollar or two? Come on, they are so good. They have some really pretty shades in this range. You just have to be prepared that the formula isn't is amazing and the packaging sucks. It gets lipstick all over the caps, but the colors like that. The colors are, I mean, come on. So worth it. There's some really pretty nudes and just everyday shades. So and then we go to Maybelline. This is my Maybelline drawer with the exception of a few Kate lipsticks, which this is a nice lipstick formulation too. These ones in the black and red tubes. This one, is this Airy Fairy? Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's a different formula than these, but it's still nice. I really like Maybelline lipsticks from the drugstore. I think they have it going on and my OCD is telling me to take this lipstick out of this drawer and put it in here. Oh, that's why it won't fit. 
So that is what the top of my vanity looks like and those are how I organize my brushes and my lipsticks. Now let's move over to this side drawer. So I have just the one, because of space, you can buy this top. This is the, sh the less wide of the two. Ikea has this same tabletop, but it's wider. But because we never know where we're gonna live or what the rooms are gonna look like, we didn't want to get the bigger one, but now I'm thinking, oh, I would've, could've used a lot more space, but it is what it is. So you can buy the table, it comes with just the legs. Um, and then you can buy this separately because they love to sell things separately. But these drawers right here contain all of my everyday products that I use. So the first drawer is gonna have my everyday products. So right here, these are all my brow products, like my dip brow, concealer um, that I use for underneath my eyes. I use the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. I have the shade Focus NW20, and it looks like that. It's not focusing, all right. I just turned this the first time I used this camera, so if this is a hot mess, I apologize. Um, brow Wiz is just anything to do with brows. My tweezers is all in this little thing. Um, and then my mascaras. Okay, so this is my bottom lash mascara, the MAC Giga Black Lash, it's amazing. This is what I use every day for my lower lashes. And then I have my um, eyelash curler, I only open one mascara at a time. This one is pretty much dry and used up, but I've been, I loved it. It's uh, Giorgio Armani Excess Eyes to Kill, Excess. Um, fabulous. So then I have the next ones I'm going to open up, which are, I have a couple samples I'm going to use. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. A tiny little Chanel, I've never seen this. Let's see, in in it, what? Inimitable Intense. I don't know. I'm going to try that out. This is a lash primer from Laura Geller. Just opened this up. I've only used it once, but this is the first lash primer I've used that isn't white. It's black, which is kind of nice. Um, so I've only used that once. So those are the next things I'm going to open. I do not open more than one mascara or no more than two for sure at a time because they're going to dry out anyway. So why open a bunch and then not even get to use them to the full extreme? Um, Sharpener. I always keep chapstick because I do chapstick every day um, when I sit down because why not moisturize while you're putting on your mascara or I mean your makeup. And then let's see, I keep these in here to cut my lashes or to cut open products that I can't open on camera. Um, I guess I could open this all the way, Chelsea. Then I have a highlighter and pen and these are my notebooks and notepads of I write down the videos I'm going to do and everything that I'm wearing and all that stuff while I'm doing my makeup so that I can put it in the down bar for you guys so that you can easily access products. But um, yeah, all this is calendar and, and video organizational stuff. Um, and then I keep, my, this is probably not safe to keep here because of my children, but this is what I used to light my candles <laughs> as if you've never seen a lighter. Um, I keep Q-tips. Um, these are from the dollar store actually, which I haven't been back to buy more, but one end is pointed and then the other is kind of flat and I like these for different, uh, cleaning up your eyeshadow looks and whatever. These are all my opened lashes. I'm wearing these today. The, let's see, House of Lashes Boudoir, which are my all-time favorites. So I keep a basket of my opened lashes and I just keep using them until they fall apart and go to crap and don't want to apply anymore. So I have... Let's see, right now I have the Cherry Blossom 15s, which I really like these ones. I need to order more of those probably. My newest obsession um, is the self-adhesive Ardell 120 S's. They're nice. Red Cherry 43s. Ardell Demi Wispies are great for a natural lash. These are House of Lash Lashes Siren. These are huge. I bought these. And they're just, I need to cut them down. They're just almost too much for me. These are the Vegas Nail Lashes by Eyelure. And then I have the Iconics, House of Lashes, Lashes Iconic. So I keep them all in here because I, I have several styles open for different looks and whatever. And you can get so many wears out of lashes that, yeah, several. And then this is my lash applicator and my lash glue, which goes here. Okay. These are my liners, eyeliners. This is waiting to be opened. I'm gonna try this next because my Kat Von D is almost gone. This is the MAC Liquid Last Liner. Never tried it, so I'm going to. Um, 
gel eyeliners are in here and then all of my pencil I know I know there's too many in here isn't there I don't even like eyeliners that much I hate applying eyeliner I tell you that um, but I have options and I promise you they're all different shades <laughs> They are, they really are. are. I got rid of duplicates and stuff. I give them to my mom and my friends and stuff because I don't need 1600 brown eyeliners. And then these are all my cream shadow sticks. So we have Mally, which I love. Her two formulations, Laura Mercier, Tarte, Rimmel, Avon, Marc Jacobs. That's pretty much it. There's one Clinique down there, but for the most part, I leave them here because I use them as bases, I use them on their own, and when I'm not filming, like day to day, this is easy. I just grab this, blend it out, apply my liner, my mascara, my brows, be done with it, you know what I mean? So, that's this drawer. This next drawer, I keep my highlighters in. So, I need to get, like I said, when I said I don't have everything perfectly organized, I don't, but... I need to probably get another one of these, but one of these buy allegory things, let me just move over here, is like 20 some dollars. I think that's a rip off. It's just plastic. Come on. You can get one of these. I got this at Target and I haven't seen it since and I should have bought more. I'm still kicking myself, but I keep um, my highlighters in these and then I need to get another one for right here. But these are my drugs, my three drugstore highlighters. I just keep them out separate because I don't know. I know it's got to have some sort of organizational method. This is the Estee Lauder Heat Wave, which was limited edition, um, but it's stunning. These are my Becca highlighters. Um, do I need Moonstone? I don't have Moonstone. I have Champagne Pop, Pearl, and Opal, and I'm thinking I need Moonstone. Um, this is my sweet friend Lisa sent to me from Canada, Lisa Watier. I believe it was, let's see if I can open this. Um, I can't do this with one hand. It's like a pinky shade, I promise. Um, pinky highlighter from... Mm, a Christmas or holiday collection. Um, Too Faced Candlelight. These are my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. I have Light Scapade. Um, Stereo Rose, not the original, but the Repromote. It's still pretty. And Soft and Gentle. And then in here, we have Laura Geller. And this is a drugstore one. I lied. Oh well. It's a hard candy. Dose of Colors, which is stunning. That's Peach Glow. This is Smashbox Rose Gold. That's gorgeous. I love this highlighter. It's like one of my favorites. The Tarte one. They don't make it like this. It's kind of a mess, but um, this is Champagne, it's just called. Maybe, you know what? They might have put that in some new things, but I like that. And these are my Bobbi Brown highlighters. I have quite a few because I really like her Shimmer Bricks. I have Nectar bronze this is limited edition beige and then my all-time girl the laura mercier um and then what do we have over here oh goodness um another laura mercier and peach glow ofra sephora laura geller gilded honey my newest love the hourglass kevin aquan i love this one i used to have it in a full size but um this is the smashbox big starburst Yes, Fusion Soft Lights. It's gorgeous. Um, I showed you that. NARS, limited edition one. Victoria's Secret, this is a stunning one. And then this come, came in a Today Special Value from QVC. Laura Geller one, I don't know. Honey Lavender, it's a pretty one. Then right here we have all my liquid and cream highlighters. So I just keep them in here because they don't stand up in this drawer. So all my liquid and cream stuff is in here. All right, this next drawer is all of my bronzers, my setting powders, powders, and my um, sculpting palettes. So these are just like, I don't, I mean, some of these are shimmery bronzers. Some of them are more like matte bronzers. They're all kind of like a, an arrangement here. I only use matte bronzers for the most part, but in the summer, I don't mind like some of these have a little bit of a shimmer. I don't mind in the summer to, you know, kind of just play with bronzer I guess a little bit so I have the the cream bronzer and the Chanel Soleil de Tan I love this and the other cream one I have is the Paracone MD no bronzer bronzer this is actually really nice it's a little bit tricky to work with but it is a really pretty color this is gorgeous all over your decollete um, this is the Milani Tantastic it just gives such a glow um, and then back here I just have like sponges I use these to bake with 
and that's my baking powder and then just extra. I don't know why I'm keeping, you know why I'm keeping this? Because it says Chanel. That is the only reason. Um, this they don't make anymore and this is a beautiful bronzer. It's their Halo, the Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Bronzer. One of the most gorgeous colors on the skin ever and I don't know why they don't make that anymore. Um, what is this? This is Tarte's Park Avenue Princess. No, Hotel Eris. Um, and then, oh my gosh, this one right here is so good from Milani. That blush in this, this thing, Milani Sunset Duo, you need it. What's this called? Sunset Beach. This blush reminds me so much of NARS Oasis, which is my all-time favorite. So, yeah. And then we have the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is a Bare Minerals one. Love the packaging. Hourglass Bronzer. Um... Laura Mercier bronzer. These are excellent little point perks. Like if you're gonna spend money on anything, spend it on something you can't ask for a sample of. Like that's my beef with Sephora. Don't give me no 100 point eye cream that I could get for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta spend $100 to get 100 points. So stuff like this is worth it, um, in my opinion, if you wanted it. Um, this is a uh, Bourjois. This is Laura Mercier Ritual. NARS, um, is this Olympia? Yes, I love this. This was in my 2015 favorites. This is so hard to open with one hand. Basically, it's like a contouring blush thing, so you can use it as blush or a contour powder, and it comes in three shades. This is Olympia, and then this is like a matte setting powder or a matte highlight. It's just beautiful. I really love the shade on my skin. This came in a boxy charm, cover effects, um, Laura Geller bronzer, love, love, love. Love this too. This is the Tarte, um, what's it called? Amazonian Colored Clay Bronzer Blush. Kind of the same idea as the uh, NARS one where you can use it as a blush or a bronzer or both. And then this is MAC. This is a permanent color in limited edition packaging, refined gold. I'm actually wearing that today. Um, this is from MAC. And then Jane, that's a great drugstore bronzer. Bobbi Brown, this is my go-to. As you can tell, I have the shade Golden Light. And then this came in a boxy charm. This is what I mean. This is a summer thing because it's like a bronzer with shimmer like crazy. Really pretty on, but I wouldn't throw it on all the time. This is the It Cosmetics Ombre. This is stunning. The Ombre bronzer, the highlighter in this is amazing. And then this is their face disc where it comes with the highlighter, bronzer, and blush. That's cool. Um, okay, so then over here I have like my powders that are pressed. So this is the Wet n Wild, the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton. This is a powder foundation, but I use it as a setting powder. It adds more coverage. This is from my friend Lisa Bourgeois powder. It's actually a really nice powder. This I use for touching up. I usually carry it in my purse, but this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and it's pressed, so it's great for touching up. So those are like my pressed ones. Oh, and the MAC. MSF, which I don't really like this that much. I'm just going to use it up, but it's, I don't know. So those are like my compact pressed ones. And then I have the Kat Von D and I have two It Cosmetics ones because my friend Amy didn't like hers. And I love this. I think, I really like it. I think I like it better than the Kat Von D. Um, and then for loose, this is the Laura Mercier Minerals. I usually use this on top of the Silk Cream Foundation, thanks to Lisa Lisa D1. Um, it's a mineral powder foundation, but I keep it in here because I use it to set my liquid. Um, and then these are finishing powders. So the Hourglass Ambient Trio. This is, what is this? Oh, this is the blush and bronzer. It should go in here. But this is NARS, Laguna, and Oasis. That should go in here. And then this is Mood Light. I need to use this more. It's the Hourglass Ambient Powder in Mood Light. It's supposed to help with like redness and stuff aka zits on my face. Um, the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. I like all these, but if you get your brush in this white shade, it's going to add light glitter to your face. So, unless you're going out with the girls, I don't really like to walk around with glitter all over my face. Um, this is Max Harmony. I've been using this to contour lately. And then I have Kevin Aquan for Sculpting Powder. This is a little tart cream, the Sculptor. I actually really like this. It's like a cream contour. Then for setting powders, I have Cover Effects Illuminating, the Chanel, the Laura Mercier. I really actually love all these setting powders. So if you want any recommendations, the Laura Mercier Cover Effects Chanel, NARS Translucent, the Rouge Bunny Rouge Finishing Powder is feels so soft and silky. 
That's what it says. If you can pronounce that word, you can have this. Um, and I love all those. And then for my under eyes, I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder every day. This came in a boxy charm, I think. I don't know how I feel about this. It's a mineral setting powder. I think I've only used it once, so I probably should put it on top. If it's on top, it will get used. This is foundations, primers, and concealers and setting sprays. So I keep my spongy things back here um, because if I keep them where my son can see them, this is what happens. Yes, but I, I, didn't, I didn't throw this one away because I'm like, I can still use it for my face. Um, and then my uh, Fix Plus and um, setting spray back there. And then I have all of my foundations here. Now I have several shades for self-tanned to natural tanned to no tanned um, and lots of different foundations. I just am kind of a junkie. I bought and reviewed quite a few here on my channel. And I don't know. I'm just always on a quest to find that thing that makes you look amazing. You know what I mean? So as far as CC creams, I really only have a couple. The It Cosmetics CC cream, I like it. It just doesn't last on me. So I probably won't repurchase it, but I'm just going to use this one up. Um, the Tarte BB Amazonian Clay Tinted Moisturizer has like zero coverage, but the finish is absolutely beautiful. So I like to mix it with this one lately, the Stowaway. Look how dirty that is. This is how my stuff really looks. How come everyone else is always is so clean? Mine actually is disgusting. The shade light, but it's actually pretty, it's pretty dark for a light. I've been mixing that with this. Stunning. Last all day I've been going to the gym and I still look good when I come home. And so, yeah, these are all my foundations, lots of different ones. The Marc Jacobs I recently reviewed. The Too Faced Born This Way was in my favorites. The Laura Mercier I love when I'm tanned. This is a great go-to always Smashbox Studio Skin. I bought this last spring, haven't used it a ton, but I'm kind of waiting to use it just in the summer because it's a lighter coverage by Guerlain. The NARS Sheer Glow, um, love the Dior Star. Favorite drugstore foundation is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous. Smashbox Liquid Halo is a stunning, beautiful, lighter coverage um, foundation. Love my YSL, the Dolce & Gabbana, I have a review on that as well. Anything I have reviews for, whatever I mention, well, I'll be linked below. I did a review on the Glow Minerals Foundation as well. Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, I did a review on the Laura Geller. I have a review on the Tarte. Um, Lancome's kind of a fallback go-to, in fact, I've used most of that up. Um, this I bought last summer, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. And what else do we have? Ooh, the Laura Mercier. I have a review on this too, the Laura Mercier. Um, Moisture Supreme, that's a good one in the winter. Bourgeois, this is beautiful, this tart one. Cover Effects Natural Finish. And then these are Cover Effects Cream Foundations. And the It Cosmetics Powder Foundation. And then this I keep in here. It's an argan oil. I use it to mix with my foundations if I want more of a dewy look. Check out that self tanner action there. That's awesome, Chelsea. Um, okay, and then primers. So I had these all in a basket, but I took them out because I needed the basket for my lip products. So these are all just kind of falling down, but I set them up nicely for you guys. But they don't normally look like this. They're normally just strewn all over the place. So Cover FX, really love their primers. I have three. I have anti-aging, which is just gorgeous. Um, the illuminating is really pretty if you need more dewy. The mattifying, obviously, if you want a matter look. This is my fallback. Always kind of been my go-to is the Smashbox Photo Finish. I like this primer, but it balls up and acts up with quite a few different products, so I try to only use it within the Smashbox line. Really loving the hydrating one this winter. This is my summer one, the Spackle from Laura Geller, because it's lightweight, lotion-like, and has SPF 30. That's Laura Mercier Radiance. I haven't tried this yet. I just got it as a sample, the Tarte Smoothing. I just opened up the Professional. I've had a million samples, but I just finally opened that one up. Almost done with the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions one. Rachel K. And these are all those little gifts with purchase, Laura Mercier. Summer, let's see, the Protect one with SPF. I use those in the summer. The Hourglass Primer Mineral Veil, stunning. And this, actually I like to wear this underneath like a BB cream or a CC cream because it's like a CC primer. So it's lightweight, gives a little coverage and just helps color correct. And then 
Um, these are just a couple samples I got from Sephora. I'm trying out some foundations. And then my concealers. I have the Urban Decay. These Cover FX ones I use for my face when I have a lot of blemishes. They are the cream... Let's see if my camera can do this. Cream concealer. Come on, camera. Okay, whatever. I use them to cover up my zits. Um, the Maybelline Age Rewind. The um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Uh, Bare Mineral Stroke of Light, the NARS Radiant Creamy, I don't like this, but I'm using it up. And I have a little baby stowaway one, which is actually a nice concealer too. And this last drawer is all, uh, well, the rest of my lip glosses. So I have them organized by brand, so brands are together. Um, why does this keep dangling? Okay, so I have pretty much just organized by brand for the most part. You can see all the different brands. Don't need to go through all these. I love the Lorac. I already showed you the YSL and the Chanel. Those are beautiful. The It Cosmetics stains are nice. The Bare Minerals are lovely. This Hourglass one is so sexy on. What shade is it? Fortune. Um, what else we got? Marc Jacobs. That came in a thousand point perk. They need to do that again. Give us more good point perks. This came with a full size lipstick for a thousand points from Sephora. Many of you probably got that. Um, Bobbi Brown lip glosses, whitening lightning, which they don't make those anymore. Um, or do they? I don't know. Um, Boxum, love Boxum. I have a lot of Boxum. These are the L'Oreal ones. These are really nice. What are these called? Doesn't say. They look like this. That's all you need to know. This is the nude one. These are my ColourPop lippy sticks, Mally, and the L'Oreal things, you know, these things. Um, and then this is just a LA Splash lip glaze that doesn't fit anywhere else, so I put it right there. This is my daughter's lip gloss. I keep it separate so she knows where to find it. Um, I let her pick a gloss, and this is the one she picked, and they don't, I don't think they make this anymore. It's just kind of fun. It's purple lip gloss. Come on. Um, and these are like all of my Buxoms. I love these. I love Buxom. And then these are all my NYX butter glosses and soft matte lip creams are all in this little thing so I can know where they're at. And these are all my liquid lipsticks. Um, if I haven't put it up already, I'm going to be doing a liquid lipstick video. If it's up, I'll link it. If not, it's going to be coming. I'm going to give you my thoughts on all the different brands I have, formulations, and all that good stuff. And this deliciousness is the rest of my lipsticks, my tower of lipsticks. These are those containers that you can get off of Amazon. I think they're by Allegory, so I have the rest of my MAC lipsticks in these two. And then um, that, and I store them like this so you can read the names because it's really annoying to have them like this and have to flip every single one to figure out what color it is. Then this right here is a nail polish holder. But I bought it to store my lipsticks and they are all categorized by brand. Don't you love those cords back there? Yeah, hashtag real life. <laughs> That's my husband's science kit for his college course. And that's what I used to use for, look at, you can see everything. This is so professional. That's what I used to use to look up at for my monitor, but you guys hated it, so we don't use that anymore. Um, but basically, we have YSL, Tom Ford, I have one Gucci. Oh, the story on that. Essentially, I bought two Gucci lipsticks and own one because my son misplaced the other one, and I think he misplaced it in the garbage can. Um, Marc Jacobs, um, Charlotte, Chanel, Dior, oh, love Dior lippies, love them, um, and the Chanel's are beautiful. Dose, Estee Lauder, that's a house of, house of dolls. This is a really sexy nude color, it's called She, isn't that cute? Um, Bare Minerals, Jouer, Laura Mercier, Shiseido, Buxom, Smashbox, Makeup Forever, Urban Decay, that's their sheer line. This is their regular line, their mattes. Uh, Bite. Lee Swatier. It Cosmetics, Buxom, Victoria's Secret. This is from Canada. Love this color. It's called Illusion. I don't even know what brand that is. Uh, MAC. Couple MAC. Zoeva. Givenchy. Mary Kay. Lancome. Clinique. Tarte. What's this? Napoleon Perdie. I have NARS Chelsea Girls in the pot, but they make that in the gloss style, like a, like the regular gloss, not this little pot thing. Um, Lancome, Lipstick Queen, Too Faced, and Melly. I love lipstick. Can you tell? 
So now we're going to move on to this Alex 9 drawer set. So the one over there is like half the size of this one. It's like the lower half of this one. So now we're going to hopefully not hit my head on this umbrella light and go into here. So these are all of my single or duo shadows. So these are all Lancome single shadows. Then we have a couple cargo. These are really nice shadows. I have two colors. This one I love. Shanghai. I mean, look at that. They're so pigment. Look how much shadow you get. Um, those are lovely. This is the Kat Von D Thunderstruck. I actually like to use this as a highlighter and an eyeshadow, but mainly a highlighter. And then I have, let's see, my NARS duos. These are hit and miss, but I think the ones I have are all good. So you want to know? Sure. Why not, Chelsea? Nouveau Monde which this is the first one I ever bought. Don't ask me why I bought these colors. I love purple colors like this, but I don't wear that green too much, but it is nice. And then we have Dolomites. That's limited edition. You can find it. It's amazing. Is old. That's great too. Looks like that. And then we have Surabaya. I did a tutorial on this actually. I love Surabaya. It's a great one. We're going to mess up our organization. That's limited edition. Kawaii. If you like purples, this is stunning. Ugh. Um, okay, put those back. You ever watch videos where they're organizing or showing us your organization and then they mess it up? It makes me crazy that they don't put it back. So I'm going to be the crazy woman that puts it back because that's how I am. Then I have NARS. That's a single from the Stephen Klein Outer Limits. Oh my word. I scouted the world for this shadow. Scouted the world. Have to have it forever now. And then, you know what? This is NARS Himalaya. I had um, Dion that I bought this fall, but I returned it because you guys, I'm just not into these. Like, I don't get it. Even wet, they're not that great. I don't think. Don't waste your money. They're too expensive. <laughs> I don't like them. Um, then I have three Rouge Bunny Rouge shadows. And then these are my MAC. They made these permanent. They used to be limited edition. These are so good. They're so pigmented. What are they called? They are extra dimension eyeshadows. And this is Silver Sun. <sighs> Look at this color. Evening Gray. I love them. I bought this one years ago before I knew about MAC. This is, is this the first big eye, single eyeshadow I bought from MAC? It sure was. I, I just like the color. It's beautiful on the eyes. What's it called? Triple Impact. That was from like probably four years ago, three years ago. Lee Swatier, um, Burberry, Laura Mercier. Like, once again, these are all organized by brand, and that's kind of how I've decided to organize my whole collection. Um, Clinique Single Shadows. This is my favorite shadow ever. They don't make this anymore. I think there is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow that's similar, but this color is everything. What is this called? Number 162. Why? It's so good. Anyways. Urban Decay, L'Oreal. This came in a boxy charm, I think. It's like a blue color. This is actually a really pretty, I need to use this, this duo, if you like blue shades, ugh, just look at that girl's eye makeup for a second, I cannot get this open, and then I tell you it's so beautiful, hold up, 15 minutes later, pour yourself a drink, look at this, isn't that gorgeous, bare minerals, what's it called? The Last Call. Ooh, I love the names. How fun is that? Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is Quo from Canada. Estee Lauder. That's an Estee Lauder single, a duo, Laura Geller, and Melt. The, I did a look with this, too. And this is their lovesick one. It's blue. It's like a blue, a purple. Yeah. It's stunning. Alright, second drawer down we have like pigments and eye bases and glitters and stuff. So this was a kit from the collection at Christmas time from MAC. And then I just have MAC pigments here, Too Faced. Um, uh, these are Makeup Geek little ones my friends sent me. Um, 
these I need to use. I bought these a long time ago. They're from Frenier. Um, and I bought, like, I don't even know how I found out about them. Probably Instagram or something. They're, like, these, I think, mineral shadows or something. Like, look at this crazy color I bought. What was I thinking? What was I going to do with this? <sighs> if you ever see me with this on, like, I don't know. What was I thinking? Sometimes you just, you think they're pretty, but you forget where you're going to put them on your body. Like, if this were a shirt, yes. But an eyeshadow, Chelsea? Oh, <sighs> it's called Superstar. Yep, and then these are uh, bases, so I keep my bases in here. Um, these are obviously Maybelline, Chanel New Moon, and then my paint pots. Stormy Pink, Groundwork, and Painterly. I use Painterly every day, and I love these two shades from MAC. Um, this is those things that came out. Dazzle Shadows everyone was raving about. I didn't get the shade everyone said, Boom Boom Boom, boom Room. I was not Boom Boom Fast enough, so I bought Slow Fast Slow, which I think is cool. I like this one. So there's that. Then Inglot Pigments, I just bought these. These are so pretty. So pretty. This is number 35 and 22. These from Ulta are pigments. These are so good. These colors are Mesa. They're so good and they have the most awesome packaging. This flips up and there's a sifter and everything. And they're like $5. And Riviera which is like a gorgeous, taupey, golden, antique color. Um, Marc Jacobs Stage Light. Beautiful way to do glitter. It's pressed, but they don't make them anymore, I don't think. Urban Decay's Moon Dust Shadows. I have two. These are Max Pressed Pigments, and these are Makeup Geek Pigments. So it's pretty much pigments and bases. Next drawer is more single shadows, primarily ColourPop, Bare Minerals, Jane Cosmetics eyeshadows, which are fabulous. L'Oreal's Infallibles, which are amazing. I have, remember when these were popular? Sephora's um, Outrageous Prisma Chrome. I don't think they make these anymore, but this one is broken, but they are gorgeous. And then these are just a couple things that come in boxy charms. Mika, I don't know, they're like, uh, this one's really pretty actually. Gold brown mineral, mineral shadow. So pretty much, yeah, that's it. I like to store these this way so I can move them and see what what shade I want and that sort of thing. So then we move on to smaller eyeshadow palettes. So NARS, Bare Minerals, Urban Decay's uh, Naked Two, which coincidentally I don't like as much as Naked One. Um, this is gorgeous, the Smashbox Cherry Smoke Palette, but that's not permanent. Boudoir Eyes, Natural Eyes, Natural at Night, and Natural Matte Too Faced Palettes. Love this. You need this in your life. The Makeup Forever Volume 1 um, Artist Shadows. This I bought when I first started getting into makeup. Once again, one of those silly things you buy because it's on sale. There's some pretty shades in here, but there's also like, come on now. Actually, that purple shade is really pretty, and I would totally wear that with my purple outfit I have on today. Um, I just keep it for nostalgia purposes. Um, Becca Ombre Rouge, great. Back there are my um, Wet n Wild, I just have a couple palettes. Um, this is a Tarte palette, which is beautiful. Um, Sleek palette, Kat Von D. Ladybird palette, Jouer, Makeup Forever, Tom Ford. My three Tom Ford quads. Um, and then the these are nice from the drugstore if you like matte shadows. Physicians Formula. Um, Dior. A couple Dior palettes. Smashbox. These were limited edition. These are really good. If you bought these, you should dig them out. They're really good. Um, and then the Cer Cinderella palette from MAC. So I just kind of keep smaller, smaller palettes in this drawer just because it fits nicely. And I don't know. I don't like to have small ones with big big ones because then it just they kind of get over shadowed and it looks messy now we're moving on to blushes so these are my higher end um well not all of my higher end but most of my higher end blushes we'll start over here um clinique this is a lancome cream blushes so i have um cream mixed with powder but it just i don't know i just kind of wanted to keep them together so i have uh the amazing cosmetics pink chocolate that is a stunning Blush. How do people open this? There we go. 
it's just a great everyday blush. Um, it Cosmetics. These are really, really pigmented. They're a stain. Um, Too Faced blushes. Makeup Forever Cream blushes. These are nice. These are my MAC. Oh, this one goes here. This is Smashbox. What's this called? Flush. This was one of the first ones I ever bought. It's a nice pink color. And then these are my MAC blushes that I don't have in a palette. So these are great ones. Sun Bask, Warm Soul, Desert Rose, Sweet as Cocoa, Just a Wisp, and this is like a beauty powder. This was limited edition from Archie's Girls. Um, cream blushes. So I keep my cream ones right here. Um, this I wore on my wedding day. I don't even think they make this anymore. I probably shouldn't put it on my face, but it's gorgeous. It's called Carrot Gold. That's stunning. Um, so then I just kind of have cream blushes here. This is a Laura Geller one, which it just is kind of chilling. Um, and then my Becca blushes. These are like, I need to throw this out. It's probably dried sacrifices, but it is a cream blush by Makeup Forever. I believe these replaced this. Um, this is nice from the drugstore, the Maybelline Master Glaze. This is the coral one. What's it called? Coral Sheen. Um, these NARS multiples, I do not like. And they're expensive. And they're not that great. Um, and then the Tarte Blushing Bride Cheek Stain that stains in is nice. Then we have, um, what is this? Oh, this is, um, my friend gave me this. This is Soft Peach from, what's that company called? Oh, good lord. Clarence. Hello, Chelsea. Wow. Love the Hourglass blushes. And then we have Laura Mercier, Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown. This is a Pot Rouge for cheeks and lips. Those are nice and kind of handy, too. Um, Laura Geller. Charlotte Tilbury. These are nice. I like the Climax for um, summertime. Not because it's peach, but it's just like a, a bronzy color. It's a MAC blush. These Kat Von D doesn't make anymore. And I think that was absolutely ridiculous. This color is everything. Poor Vita. Ugh. This is the epitome of like a spring and summer blush. Oh my word. I can't get these open. Ugh. I gotta show it to you. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? She doesn't make those anymore. Illa Mask I have. Uh, Katie. And then this is a cream blush. Urban Decay's... Um, Afterglow blushes <laughs> and out of all the shades they make check out what shade I bought I guess if you watch you know and if you don't BAM <laughs> it is a blush I swear could use that as an eyeshadow it's called bang it's actually really pretty with a sheer sheer up application one of my all-time favorite blushes actually is this Laura Geller baked elements in Sienna I should have put my camera on a tripod isn't that stunning? Very nice blushes. And then I have, this is supposed to be up like this, but you know, things happen. Elise Watier blush. This is a Clinique blush. This is a great color. Totally tawny. Burberry, Bobbi Brown, Tom Ford, Dior, Clinique. There's another Burberry. What? What is this? Earthy. Oh, okay. There's, I was like, wait a minute. Um, and then I have all of my Chanel blushes right here within reach because I love them. And that's a little baby cream blush by Chanel. We have more blush. I know. I love blush. So I have all my drugstore ones in here with the exception of the balm. These are the, the Benefit Box blushes, the Too Faced uh, Peach Beach. So we have Milani. Milani. Wet n Wild. This is a cool blush. It's a beautiful shade. You can get that in Canada if you live there. Um, this is a this is pretty too. This is from Canada. It's called Flower Power. Isn't that pretty? Um, Sony Kashuk. I don't know. Does she still make these? This is a great one though. If she does, Sunset. Um, I really like these too from Physicians Formula. The blondes and the brunette, for whatever reason. These are also from Canada. Can you tell I have sweet friends that live there? Annabelle Blush. These have no names, but... Uh, yeah, okay. Maybelline. Uh, uh, what is this brand? can't think. L'Oreal. CoverGirl. What's this? ColourPop. I have one ColourPop blush in the shade Prenup. Um, 
the balm. Those are nice. And then more CoverGirl. Then over here, I just bought these. These are freaking phenomenal. The Lorac Buildable Blushes. I bought three because they're that good. And then these are their baked line. Tarte makes amazing blushes. You cannot go wrong there. These are from QVC, I believe. NARS, love their blushes, clearly. Zoeva has some pretty softer blushes. And this is Buxom. This is a gorgeous blush in the shade Trist. It looks like that. And this is a blush from Cargo. I use the word blush loosely, however, because it is full of shimmer. It looks way better as a highlighter. This is a deeper drawer, so I keep my palettes in here like blush palettes. This is the Mally Blush and Highlighter Duo, the Hourglass Blush Palette, the Sephora Last Year's Pantone. This is a beautiful blush palette by Zoeva in the shades Pink Spectrum. Aren't those pretty? Um, and then Tarte's limited edition holiday ones. And then I just have Z palettes of some depotted ones. These are NYX old blushes. This is Max Gentle, Max, I don't know what's this called, Cantaloupe maybe? Can't remember. And then that's a Mary Kay blush. These are Makeup Geek blushes. And these two right here are MAC. And then these are my two MAC palettes. Can you tell I like MAC blushes? These are a couple palettes that I made. I bought them in pans and then put them in this palette. Last two drawers are eyeshadow palettes. So I have them organized by brand from the Balm, Sigma, Cargo, Stila, Urban Decay's, Smoky, Original, and the three. I don't have the second one. Do I need it? I don't know. Love the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. And then in my Z... Oh, goodness gracious. In my Z palette, I have... Those are MAC shadows. I put the names on the back of this one, so it was easy to remember because once you put them in, it's like, you know, hard to get it out. Those are MAC shadows, like my burgundies and purples. This is more like my neutrals with some color. This is Makeup Geek. Inglot. This is an Inglot palette I made, which I think every time I look at this, I just shake my head. Um, you probably are too. And then these are Makeup Geek shadows and the foiled eyeshadows. Freaking phenomenal. Then back here I have Tarte's two palettes. My Bobbi Brown palette that I made. You can buy. I bought the shadows individually and then I put them in. Oh, come on. This. That's an interesting arrangement of colors, isn't it? Oh, sometimes I just shake my head at myself. Visi Art Matte. Love it. This came in like a Today Special Value a couple of Christmases ago. These are depotted shadows, MAC shadows, random Inglot shadows. These, oh my gosh, these are the first high-end shadows I bought. These are Lancome. I think I wore these on my wedding day. Lorac Mega Pro, love that. And then more MAC shadows. And then this is M Marc Jacobs, um, the Starlet. I really like this palette. It's so pretty. And then my very last drawer is, and I have the palettes on the two bottom drawers because they're very heavy. When you, eyeshadow is so heavy, especially when you put a bunch of palettes in here. So Kat Von D, It Cosmetics, my chocolate bar series, the Smashbox, Full Exposure and Double Exposure, Lorac 1 and 2, Unzipped, Zoeva, Zoeva, BH Cosmetics, um, Laura Mercier, love this palette, The Artist, it's great. Um, Too Faced, Pretty Rebel, it's a funky fun palette, and then um, Anastasia, Lavish, and World Traveler, this, these are both just great palettes. And then back here, I just have smaller palettes that didn't fit up there, so this is the Showstopper palette by Tarte, which I think you can still get. This is a great, great palette. I really like the color, the blush. It has that champagne highlighter that I love, and then their bronzer and the shade, the eyeshadow shades in here are stunning. Um, this was a limited edition palette. Um, this is the Smashbox uh, Master. Can you get this anymore? I don't think so, but it's a really great palette. Really happy with that one. And then a couple limited edition ones, the Urban Decay Vice 2, the Too Faced a few of my favorite things, and then the Kat Von D Me. Vita Loca palettes back there. So I keep those down and back because I don't, I mean, I use them, but I don't use them for tutorials for obvious reasons. So 
that is everything that's in my Alex nine drawers. So very quickly, this is now my husband's new spot and um, he just keeps his thing there, but some of my stuff is still in here. So down here I have like my extras, like my next mascaras and then a primer and then these are all notes that have been given to me by you guys or friends, anything to do with YouTube. I keep all of my notes. Um, just it's my, it's what makes YouTube worth it. It's the special little notes, like it's awesome. And then in here I keep all of my lashes, like my extra lashes that I'm going to open next when my current ones get cruddy. This drawer is a drawer of double-ended brushes and brushes that come in palettes and that I literally never use these brushes. Um, I don't like the double-ended like for storing unless they're in a drawer like this, but now that he's using this, I don't sit over here to reach for him, so we're going to have to organize that better in the future. So my old desk is now his new one for school. So that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much the tour of my makeup room and like I said it's going to change and it will not look like this next year at this time so I'll probably do an updated version if you would like me to do that because I definitely would change some things if I could but when you're just going to tear it apart and move it's good enough right? So if you're new please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself and I will chit chat with you guys soon. Bye.